If you've tried to add math equations to Google Forms, Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google Slides, Equatio is free for teachers. You will want to go to their website, install the Chrome extension, get your free trial, and fill out a form so you can get it free permanently. And so I'm going to show you how this works with voice typing. If I go to docs.new, it's going to make me a brand new Google Doc. Now the traditional way to add math into a Google Doc is to go to the insert menu and you can find equation and it makes this little tiny equation toolbar. But there's so much better ways to do that. I have installed the Equatio Chrome extension. So I come up here into my toolbar and you'll see that's my Equatio icon. And when I click on that, it's gonna pop up the Equatio toolbar down here at the bottom. Now Equatio has so many cool and great features. I'm just going to show you how to use voice typing right now. Now I'm going to set my cursor. Oops, I'm in the equation editor. I'm going to set my cursor and you'll see here that it has speech input as one of the options in the Equatio toolbar. So I'm going to click speech input. I'm going to turn on record square root of six minus five. Now, the way that Equatio works is it is going to insert that into my Google Doc as an image. And you can see how much larger this is. If I use new equation and I go to square root of 6 minus 5, obviously this is much bigger. I can resize it. It is a picture. And Let's try changing the font. If I change the font, I am able to get the equation bigger. Obviously, the image for Equatio will not increase or decrease based on font size, but hey, so much cooler to use my voice. Speech input, I'm gonna delete that with the trash can. Quadratic formula. And insert math and just sticks it right in there for me. So easy. Now let's take a look at when I go to Google Slides. I'll do slides.new. Now Google Slides has no equation. Google Slides has no equation editor built in. So you need to use Equatio, but need or want, because it's so cool. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna add a new slide, and I'm gonna turn on the toolbar right here and use speech input. One over the square root of six. And just does that for me. Insert my math and it sticks it right in there. Now you can adjust the size by clicking on the Equatio icon, go to options, and you will be able to do the different options here. You have your math options, which says what is your math font size. You can see that I have mine set at extra, extra large, but you can change those. So the default is not extra, extra large. So let's go again and show how you would change that. I am going to click on the Equatio in the bottom here. I'm gonna close Equatio. I'm gonna come up to the Chrome shelf, extension shelf. I'm gonna click on that so the toolbar will show up here at the bottom and go to Equatio, go to options, and under math options, you can change that default size. Now where else can I use voice typing? I can use it in Google Forms and I can use it in Jamboard. So let's try a new jam. I'm gonna do jam.new. Now in Jamboard, it is a tiny bit different, but the voice typing is going to work the same. So I'm gonna go up to the Chrome extension, the Equatio toolbar shows up here at the bottom. I am going to go to speech input, and I'm going to allow my microphone, and I want X plus the square root of six. Oh no, that wasn't exactly what I wanted, no problem because once I do the voice typing, I am able to manually adjust it the way that I want to if I didn't quite get it right. So go ahead and edit it. Now notice I don't have an insert math button like I did last time because Jamboard works a little bit differently. So you wanna come down here to the bottom right hand corner to this copy icon 
which lets you copy the image. Okay, and then I'm just gonna control V paste. So I have to use control V to paste it, copies the image onto my clipboard and I can paste that on to Jamboard. I'm gonna be able to go to Google Forms and insert. So I'm gonna do forms.new. Now you see this looks a little bit different. You're gonna notice that I have these blue little boxes all over my Google Forms. So instead of having to go up to the extension shelf and clicking on the Chrome extension for Equatio, is right into the Google Forms. So next to each question and each answer choice, I can choose to add Equatio. So I'm gonna click here on this question. I'm gonna to go to voice typing. And I, oops, voice typing, record, square root of nine. Pause, insert my math. And you'll see it has added it right here into the question as an image. So again, Equatio adds images. They do work with screen readers though, which is very cool. So now when I come down here to our multiple choice options, I might make this one three, this one six, but what if a common mistake might be square root of three? So I'm gonna go to this little icon here, the blue one, insert math. Now I can just edit it right there since it remembered my last thing that I did, it does insert it as an image. So the other way I can do it is I can click the trash can, go to the speech, record square root of six, pause, insert math, and there I have these in my Google form. Now be aware when you insert into the Google form, when you go to the spreadsheet, it doesn't show the images from Equatio in the spreadsheet. Now you can put Equatio in a spreadsheet, so let's take a look at that. I'm gonna do sheets.new. Now on this, I will want to use the Chrome extension. So for docs, sheets, and slides, I do use the Chrome. I'm going to click on the cell that I want it in. I'm gonna do speech input, quadratic formula. Sticks that in there for me. I'm gonna insert, close this, and look how small it is, because the way images work in Google Sheets spreadsheet is dependent on the size of the cell. So notice what happens when I increase the width and the height, I'm gonna make that a little bigger, make this wider, maybe make that a little skinnier. So I'm able to fit it right into there with the image just by changing the size of the cell.